And we are back with Final Fantasy X, my friends. Um, we are going to confront Seymour, but before we do that, there are a few items to pick up, which I'll do first. Yeah, I guess so. You're not happy? Nope. Nah, it's complicated. Say, um, do you know where Yuna is? I believe she's gone to the Cloister of Trials with Maester Seymour. Oh, that's a mistake. Okay. And we will go to the Cluster of Trials as well. First, let's pick up these chests right here. This one contains 5,000 gil. And on the other side, we'll find one with two X potions, I believe. Yep, two X potions. And now, let's head. Lord Jessica! Uh oh. A sphere in Lady Yuna's belongings. Well, that can't be anything good. I guess we'll go check. Why would the lady have such a thing? Why would she leave it behind? Let's see what Lord Giskel has to tell this us. This may well answer a few questions. He's just going to tell us what we everyone already knows that Simor is a bad guy. I mean, he was a suspect from the start. What I am about to tell you is the unclouded truth. I swear it on my honor as a Guado. Listen to me very carefully, for I shall tell you the truth about my son Seymour. His mind is closed even to me, a maester of Yevon. But I can feel flames of darkness burning in his heart. He is using Yevon, the Guado, and even the summoners. If he is not stopped, he will surely bring destruction and chaos to Spira. I will leave this world soon, killed by my own son. That's tragic. But I do not fault him. Because I was not wise enough, he has suffered and become twisted. I could not protect him and his mother from the world and its cruelty. I will accept death as punishment for my deeds. But whoever is watching this, I implore you to stop, Seymour. Stop. My son. Man, a dad begging to stop his son. That's pretty what? harsh. Will you be all right? <laughs> Without us, no. Where you going? You saw it, didn't you? Seymour's bad news. But he's a maester. Uh, fine. Stay here if you want. Come on, Waka. Let's at least hear him out. This can't be happening. What other proof do you need, man? He killed his own father, Jesus. A few more items to pick up. Remedy and this girl gives us two eye potions. How convenient, the only two witnesses and she... One of the only two witnesses and she... Or three witnesses, actually, if you count the woman outside. Or the, is it this woman, maybe? And she's going to say that she didn't see anything. Well, for some reason I'm thinking you won't keep it safe at all, but oh well. I don't trust these NPC characters. Oh no, you're outside. Why would the lady... uh, before we head inside, let's pick up a few more items. There's Owaka, but he's got precisely the same items that he had before. Uh, let's go here first. This guy... Gives us an eater, I believe. Are, you guys are eating either? That's strange. And this guy gives us an elixir. Yep. And if we talk with this guy, we can learn a little bit about Seymour's background.
uh, really to me it seems that he's just a guy who resents humans for probably mocking him or something how old is he more if he was Tida's uh, age and Tida is 17 I believe in Final Fantasy X so I guess Seymour is 27 now he's a lot older than Yuna I mean Yuna 17 I think I wouldn't say he's matchless. His anima is actually pretty weak. But we'll check that out for ourselves. Okay, let's go. That's what you get for being an Albert hater. Ah, shut up, dude. I could just stomp you right here. Open your eyes, man. It is truly at fault. It must be done. We will put a stop to Seymour and anyone who thought he was innocent <laughs> from the start, well, he's rather oblivious. Okay, time to do this. Please be silent. Lady Yuna prays to the faith. Make me! We'll have to fight these two bodyguards as well. I don't know what Yuna was expecting to do really. Was she gonna kill Seymour in his sleep or something because... I don't know what her, in, her goal was to, in order to kill him, uh, to marry him. I don't know why she had to marry him. Lady Yuna, certainly you knew of these things, did you not? Well then, why have you come here? I came... I came to stop you. I see. You came to punish me then. What a pity. Ah, of course. Protect the summoner even at the cost of one's life. The code of the guardian. How admirable. Man, Seymour, you have well, weird chest hair, man. Oh, lives, I mean, they're tattoos, I guess, I but it looks them. like you have weird chest Mr. hair. Mr. Seymour, I trust my guardians with my life, but they are also my friends. I will not stand by and watch them be hurt. I will fight you too! All right! Maester Seymour! So be it. Bring it on. At the start of the body, Seymour's bodyguards will cast Protect and Seymour casts a shell on himself. Uh, if you try to attack Seymour, the, the bodyguards will block him and heal him. Uh, but there's a very easy method to actually counter this, um, which I'm going to demonstrate right now. All you need to do is use Stone Breath to petrify these guys, or alternatively, you can use uh, you can steal from them, and that way. You may be 
uh, they won't be able to use eye potions on on Seymour. Your eyes, they burn with resolve. Beautiful. Ouch. I knew you were bad news the first time we met. Oh, my sincerest apologies. Seymour! Uh, Kimari can go back. Everyone gets a turn here. Gonna get three queen here so she can start stealing. Because this guy has a bunch of stuff to steal. You can steal turbo eaters, uh, mega elixirs. Yuna can take a little break now. Wak also has a, a line. Maester, we must stop this. He doesn't care. Ah, this can't be happening. <laughs> well, there's your reply, Wak. Uh, see. Let's cast Ace on Riku. Actually, Seymour is vulnerable to slow, so... Waka can go back. Let's get Oren in here. Oren can cast Ace on uh, Riku. So she can keep stealing. Seymour has 6000 HP. Um, after you reduce his HP to 3000, I believe he summons Anima. Um, it's not a big deal, really. So now I'm gonna put. Uh, Tidus back here. I want to hit him with Tidus. Now he's gonna summon Anima. Even if you deplete all of his uh, hit points, you will always anima. summon Anima. And both uh, both Anima and Seymour have the same overkill hit points. It's 1,400. Um, after he summons Anima. It's recommended and hinted in the game that you should get a summon because Anima's pain attack is an instant kill attack, an instant death attack, so... But Aeons are, are, are immune to that, so that's why you should summon one. Yuna, the new Aeon. So let's get Yuna in here and oh, use a grand summon. Let's summon Shiva. Uh, she works rather well against Anima, plus she can heal herself by casting Blizzard. Uh, plus, it's a good idea for you to save uh, Efrit for the Wendigo battle, so I'm gonna use Shiva. Plus, her animation is pretty cool. Shiva can overkill him at this point with or without uh, an overdrive. I'm just gonna deplete his HP a little bit. Er, uh, hit points a little bit because uh, Anima is a girl. Anima has 8,000. 18, sorry, 18,000 uh, HP. So two Diamond Dust will get the job done. It will always counter with pain or use boost unless it charges up its limit gauge. Uh, but we have nothing to worry about really. If Shiva's uh, Health points get too low, just cast Blizzara on herself and she will restore all of her health most likely. 
There we go. We can overkill it now. Uh, you don't even need to use Diamond Dust, honestly. All you need to do is use Blizzara. Okay, time to die. This will overkill it for sure. There we go. And now all we need to do is finish off Sima. Power that defeated Anima. It will be mine. Uh, no it's not man, because you're dead already. Click. He never stood a chance. Pity me now? Well, I guess that's that. Or it would be. Uh, we're not quite done with, with the Guado and Seymour yet, but. Oh, perfect timing. What happened here? We could just lie. What? What have I done? Uh, but of course. Wait a minute! It's not our fault at all. Seymour struck first. He's the bad guy. Why don't you shut up, T? Just say he fell down the stairs and died. Hit his head and died. Why not? Yuna, send him. We could have gotten away. No, we really stop. could have. Stay away from him, traitors! Or we could just kill Trommel and those two Guados and once again lie about it. We're finished. Now hold on just a minute. Seymour's the bad guy, right? We'll just explain to everyone what happened. It won't be that easy. Let's get out of here. Yeah, well. Luck's never on our side, is it? I still think it's silly for Titus and Waka to pretty much admit what they did right there and then. I mean... Innocent until proven guilty is what I'd say. Black Magic Spheres, that's what I'm gonna use to make Yuna learn uh, the level 3 Black Magic spells. So let's just check our Sphere Grid over here. We won't have control of Yuna for a while uh, after the events in Makalania Temple, so... I'm gonna still try to use her in the next upcoming battles. And Lulu, Lulu learns Demi. Nice. And that's for that's it for all of them. 
and as you can see we can't play blitz ball anymore at this point so i'm going to end this episode right here my friends on the next episode we're gonna deal with the cloister of trials the macalania cloister of trials which can involves a lot of going back and forth and we're also going to make our grand escape from macalania temple so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you later take care